The police community is getting ready to say a final farewell to a Connecticut native who became a Minneapolis police officer. He was killed in the line of duty just two weeks ago. His mother and grandmother sat down with News 8's Eva Zimaris to share how Officer Jamal Mitchell will be remembered. He's my hero. <laughs> He's my hero. Holding a photo of her son, Jamal, Janet's profound pride is palpable. You're my baby. <sighs> Go missing. Jamal, a Minneapolis police officer, was tragically killed in the line of duty on May 30th. He joined the force less than two years ago. You could see it all in his face that he loved what he was doing and proud of what he was doing. Janet and her mother, Lily, shared with News 8 Jamal loved his community. He was devoted to his family and his faith and would do anything for anyone, always with a smile. His life spoke for him. When you met him, he made such an impression on you. As I said, his life spoke for him, told exactly who he was. Today I'm honored to tell you about my guy, Officer Jamal Mitchell. When I hear the stories, of how the officers were sharing Jamal, how he was with the community. I was a proud mama. He grew up in New Haven on Lombard Street, attending the city's public schools and going to the church his great grandmother founded on Shelton Avenue. This was home for much of his life and where he'll be laid to rest on Monday. I was just so proud to know, to say, that's my son. Does it hurt? Absolutely. It hurts to know that I'm, I won't see him again on this earth, but I'm going to see him when I get there. Jamal's sister described him as the peacekeeper among his six siblings. He was also a father of four with his fiance, Tori. I'm proud of Jamal. I'm proud of the dad he is. How, how he just loves his babies. During this dark time, there's light in knowing the impact Jamal made. Well done, Jamal. That's what I say. Job well done, son. And I'll, we'll see you soon. See you later. Viewing hours and a funeral service will be held for Officer Mitchell on Monday at the Floyd Little Athletic Center at Hill House High School. We have all the details on our News 8 website and app. In New Haven, Evans Maris, News 8.